Hello friends. In this section, we will learn about resolving a force into its components. So we know that a force is uh, not a scalar quantity, it's a vector quantity. So force is a vector quantity, which means that it has got both the magnitude, magnitude and only the magnitude is not important. It has also got the direction, which means that suppose that so this is a ground and you got a box over here. So when you are applying a load on this box, let's say that you're applying a perfectly horizontal load. So let's say that this is your X direction and this is your Y direction. And you are applying load, let's say 30 kilo Newton in the X direction, or you can say the perfectly horizontal direction. In this case, there will be certain effect on this box. So this box will will be pulled or will be tried to pull in the X direction in certain way. Now let's say that in case to what you're doing. Now you're applying the load in a certain direction. So now you're applying the load at a certain angle to the X direction. Let's say that now you're applying the load in this direction. The magnitude is same 30 kN but the direction is at an angle of 30 degree. So in doing this, the box will be pulled in a different way. So which means that by changing the direction of the force, the effect of that force in the object is also changed. So this is why we call the force to be a vector quantity. So both the magnitude and the direction of the forces are important in order to assess the effect of that force on our body. Now, conversely, let's say that we got uh, the ground and we got that object again. Now, let's say that we are applying the force. This is force of P kilonewton and with the horizontal, the angle is, let's say, theta. Now what this uh, resolving of force into components, what it says is that, so when you break down this force P into its various components, which means that this load is acting in this direction. Now what you can do, you can simply apply a load, uh, a certain load, uh, let's say in this direction, let's say the load is a kilonewton, a certain value, and you're applying the load in let's say B kilonewton in this direction. So all you are doing is that you are doing the same effect. You are doing the same effect that this load would do on this body by applying these load A and B, which means that any load acting in any direction can be replaced by its component forces that will have the same effect on that body as that load would have. So these A and B, these forces are known as the components of components of P because they are not acting in the direction of P. They don't have the magnitude equal to P, but combinedly when you apply load A and B on this body, so they will have the same effect that this load would have on this body. So that is why these two loads are known as the components of P. Uh, let us say we got, so we got the X direction. Okay, so this is our X direction that is perfectly horizontal. And we got the Y direction that is perfectly vertical. Now let's say that we are applying the load. So this is our load of P kilonewton at an angle of theta with the X axis or the perfectly horizontal axis. So in this case, if you have to find the component in the X direction, you can do that. If you have to find the component in the Y direction, you can do that. Let's say that the component in the X direction is FX. So here I have told that uh, the force has called magnitude as well as the direction. But right now I'm only talking about the magnitude 
and the direction is the x direction so here fx it only signifies the force value and x is understood here so this fx will be equal to p times if you do cos theta then you will find the component of this load p in the x direction similarly fy will be p times sin theta fx will be p times cos theta and fy will be p times sin theta this is the condition when we are assigning a single load and now let's say that what will be the condition when we'll apply the multiple load on the same body now let's say that we got again a body so we got a body like this and so this is our horizontal axis and this is our vertical axis okay and here we are applying two kinds of load so one load is we are 30 kilo newton so this is at at an angle of let's say 30 degree another is 50 kilo newton and let's say we are applying this at an angle of 50 degree okay that's the best example i could do now for 50 kilo newton let's do it first the force in the x direction will be 50 cos 30 degree right and for 30 kilo newton the force in the x direction it will be 30 cos 30 degree right so this will turn out to be so let me calculate so this is my calculator over here so it is 50 cos 30 degree and if i do it so it's 25 root 3 that is equal to 43.30 so this is equal to 43.30 uh, kilo newton because the unit is kilo newton of 30 uh, let's say 50 and uh, so next one is 30 cos 30 degree right so it's 30 cos 30 degree and if i hit enter it will be equal to 25.98 25.98 kilo newton so both are in the x direction right so now the total resultant force acting on this body in the x direction is equal to summation of these two forces as these two forces are perfectly in the same direction you can add these two forces so this is equal to 43.30 plus 25.98 we can add these values and get the resultant force acting on this body in the x direction similarly if you have to find the force in the y direction so fy is 50 sine 30 degree and here the fy is 30 sine 30 degree so using the same concept find the values add them to find the resultant force in the y direction now you have found the force in the x direction and you have found the force in the y direction fx and the fy and if you see that if you see that so uh, let us take that body again as an example and let's say that the force is acting in this direction 30 kilo newton at an angle of let's say 30 degree with the horizontal and now the 50 kilonewton force is acting in this direction 50 kilonewton and let's say that uh, this angle is now 50 degree okay so in this case what happens is that you can see that the 30 kilonewton load other it will be resolved in so it will be let me change the color so it will be resolved in this direction here but the 50 kN force it will be resolved in this direction so now the 30 so this is 30 cos 30 degree and this is 50 cos 50 degree but this has got this minus sign because 
if you take this as positive this x towards here as positive then this will be negative so it will be minus 50 cos 50 degree or alternatively what you can do is that you can simply do 180 minus this angle 180 minus this angle to get this angle and you can use if you use 50 cos 180 minus 50 that will be so cos 180 minus theta is minus cos theta that will be minus 50 cos 50 that will be this one because this is acting in the negative direction okay so you have to see these things as well when you are resolving your forces